to another What's New. What's new today? Well, we're doing something to Kim's bike. Now, this is a 2016 Fat Boy Low, as you know, but the stems on the mirrors have rusted. Have a look at this. Look at that there. Look at that for rust. And the nut there, that's one side. The other side's not so bad. Just have a look at that. Not real good, is it? So, we're going to have an attempt to fix in that. And we are going to fix it with some epoxy enamel. Black stuff. Satin. Black. So that goes over rust fairly well. But first of all, we've got to take these mirrors off. And we have to sand them down. Clean them up a little bit before we spray them. Now, we've owned a lot of Japanese bikes over the years. And the mirror stems have not gone like this. We've had black ones, we've had silver ones. And they have not gone like this. So that's poor bloody quality Harley Davidson, as far as I'm concerned. Because this bike's only two and a half years old. So let's get into ripping it down, guys. Okay, so we'll get in here and we'll get this off. I hope you guys can see that there. Go one nut which is gonna need painting as well. Alright, so there's one off. That's one and I'll take you across the other side, which is right there. We'll do the same for that. That's the other one off, which isn't in too bad, Nick, that one. Right, so anyway, we'll go across to the workbench and we'll clean that up. We'll get a bit of sandpaper and clean it all down. Catch you there, guys. Okay, first thing is, I'm going to do these nuts. I'll just put it back on the stem and I'll give them a bit of a hit with a wire brush. Get that all that old black stuff off her. Anyway, we'll cut back to you in a minute when we're done. Okay, so that's those nuts done. A little bit of stuff there still, but I think we'll be okay. Right there. So, we'll get onto the mirror stems. So this is the one that's really bad. I'll just give it a bit of a sand down. There we go here. Yeah. Give her a sand and try and get as much of it off as possible. Absolutely shocking these, aren't they? Hardly ought to be ashamed of themselves as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, that's another story. We'll rough all that black up. I'm only going to paint the stems, not the back, because the back is okay. There's a few marks on there, but it just needs cleaning. Kim needs to get her ass into gear. I'll just put that aside for a sec. I'm give this other side a go. This one here is not too bad as you can see. So we'll just scrap, we'll just um, scuff it up a bit. So then the paint will stick to it a bit better. Okay, I'll just give it a wipe and we'll see what we got here. Look at that. That's nice, very nice. That one there's not too bad either. I might just scuff it up with a little bit rougher sandpaper. There we go with that. Okay, so we've got them scuffed up. This is the one that was a little bit better condition. This one here had all the rust on it. As you can see, it is now gone. I'll just hit it with a little bit of finer stuff now and get it ready for painting. All right, so all we've got to do now is tape up all the bits we don't want to spray. So we'll just work our way around there. Hey right, guys, so we're just about there. I decided to cover the glass as well. I really don't want any overspray on that. So, a bit of old frog tape on there. And Bob will be your uncle if he ain't your auntie, hey? So to speak. There's one mirror. 
there's two mirrors both of them done to perfection of course all we gotta do now give it a good wipe over again and spray them and we have to spray these little nuts as well so all we gotta do is spray them now so I'll get her set up I'll cut back to you in a minute okay so the epoxy enamel that's what we're using it will go over rust and everything and fight fights against rust so we've, I've moved Kim's bike out of the shed so we'll give these a bit of a shake up and a bit of a spray okay so we're ready so we'll give her a spray just a light spray to start with Okay, so we'll let that dry and we will give her another coat in a minute. So, ready for another coat. We'll just give that a shake again. I'll put me old short lookers on this time and give her another spray. Now this is a satin black. I'm hoping it will match her mirrors. <laughs> Bob's your uncle. What do you reckon? So we will leave these for a couple of days, let them harden up, then we'll put them back on the bike. So we will catch you then, guys. Bye. Okay, something else. I might do these two. They've got a bit of rust on them. I've roughed them up as much as I can with some sandpaper. So, and if you ask them what they are, the actual indicators hang off them at the bottom of the handlebars there. So we'll just take that up. So what I might do first is just spray in here first, so then I can mount them on here. So we'll put that one in the vise. Fill them up tight, then we'll give them a spray. Okay, we'll leave them and we'll give them another spray in a minute. Okay, I'm hoping that will do it. So we'll leave them for a couple of days with the mirrors and um, we'll go from there. So we'll catch you then, guys. Welcome back, guys. Now, as you remember, we were painting these motorcycle stems, mirror stems. So, here's the finished result. It's back on the bike. Now, if you remember, this one here was not real good at all. But look at it now. Nice and black. And this is the other side here. Beautiful. I'll just show you this side. I'll show you a comparison. Right, that's it there. And as you remember, it looked like this before. Look at that there. Look at that for rust. So, so I think we've achieved a good result there. So we'll see how long that paint lasts for. If not, we'll buy another set of mirrors. They're fairly cheap anyway. So anyway, guys, that's another What's New. Catch you on the road, guys. Bye.